Welcome to getting started with your new RS Plus New Line panel. To get started, the power button and control panel are at the lower left hand side of your panel. You'll know that the power is on when you push it and it turns blue instead of red. Right next to the power button, there is a convenience panel. So here you will be able to input so you can connect to your computer. When you first turn your panel on, you will see this screen. This is your lock screen. You will just simply press start. Upper left hand corner of the home screen, you will see the new line logo. If you click on the new line logo, that will bring you to display and theme options. If you want to change the theme, click on theme, and then you can have two themes. So you can choose standard or colorful. So select the theme that you would like. And then you click that arrow beside theme to go back and that will change the theme for you. Right below that, you will find the time. You click on the time. Again, this is in the upper left hand corner. This will bring up the time. You can change to different time zones here. There's also a timer. So you could set a timer and this timer runs in the background of all the other apps. So if you want to set a five minute timer and then go to a different app, you can do that. The timer will run in the background. So you set that here. It also has a stopwatch. That's in the upper corner. You can also, in the upper left hand corner, click on the date and it will bring up the same options. Moving down the board on both sides, on the left hand side and on the right hand side, you'll see these toolbars, these floating toolbars. You can move these, you can drag them up or down if you'd like, and you could also have one or the other showing or both. This floating annotation tool will allow you to annotate over anything that is on the screen. If I write on the screen, and then I want to save what I read on the screen, I just click the little red X on the floating annotation toolbar, and that will save my annotations directly onto the panel for me. In your floating toolbar, the second tool down takes you directly to your whiteboard. So if you click on that, it will take you to the whiteboard. The third tool down is a little button that looks like the home. If you click on that, it will always take you back to this home screen. Underneath the home, there is the back arrow that will just take you back to the previous application or screen that you were on. And the last button is the PC button. Your new line should have a built-in PC. And from here, you can access anything on the internet. internet. Basically, it's its own computer built into your new line panel. I'm going to go back to the home screen. In the upper right hand corner, over here, we have our settings options. So in the very top right hand corner, it looks like a little guy running. You click that. That just takes you back to your original start screen. Then you have your settings option next to that. So here's where you can check your network. You need to set the date or the time, check storage. All of your settings are right there. Next to the settings in the upper right hand corner, it can take you directly to your Wi Fi or network settings. So you can see the Wi Fi is on. And lastly, the last little button in the upper right hand corner with the green circle around it. This takes you to your file storage. This is where you can store files on your computer or on a thumb drive, on the panel itself, on your Google Drive. You can access all of that from the little green circle in the upper right hand corner. Let's take a deeper look at the whiteboard. So again, to get to whiteboard, I'm going to look at the toolbar on the right or the left, click the second icon down, and that will bring me to the whiteboard. So first we have our pen tool. So that allows you to select the color and the thickness of your pen, and then you can write on your board.
beside the pen tool, we have the highlighter tool. So you can select that. And you can either click a second time or long press the highlighter tool. And that will let you choose the color and the thickness for that. And then you can highlight something on your board with a highlighter that's transparent so you can still see the text that's behind that. The next tool on the bottom of the whiteboard is the shapes tool. So if you press that, it will let you select what shape you'd like to include. So say I want to do a Venn diagram, I can include a circle and whatever color I want to make that. Then I go to my board and I can draw a circle and another circle. And I can make a Venn diagram. The next tool over looks like a little circle. It's a lasso tool. The lasso tool will let you select objects. It will group them. And then it will let you move those together. Next, you have your eraser tool. The next one over, it looks like a screen with an eraser and that will erase everything you've done so far. In Whiteboard, you have several options. You can find your options in the lower left-hand corner by clicking on the three dots. Here you have options to add things to your Whiteboard. From your home screen, you can access your browser. So browser is on your main icons right here. It's the lower left-hand icon, it's the browser icon. So if I click on that, you can choose if you want to use the browser or a different, different browser like Chromium. And this takes you to the built-in internet. So if you're working on geography and you want to pull up a map of the United States, you could type map in the browser search there, pull up a map that you like. And then you can use your annotation tool and you could write right over that. And you could save that. So you could have students come up, see if they can label all of the states. You can save that. Basically this browser works like any other computer. So you can add favorites. So if there's a website that you use a lot in your classroom, you could go to that website. I know when I was in the classroom, my students loved Look It. So I had Look It saved if they wanted to play Look It every day. So what, if you have a site that you want to use a lot, just like you would on your laptop, come up to the right hand corner, press the star. You can label that and then save this to your bookmarks. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the team at Bloom. Our email is pd at bloom.com. Thanks for watching.